but they should love our country. They shouldn't hate our country. You look at what they've said. I, I have clips right here. The most vile, horrible statements about our country, about Israel, about others. Uh, it's up to them. They can do what they want. They can leave. They can stay. But they should love our country, and they should work for the good of our country. All right, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Uh, uh, Mr. President, question for the cabinet. Is anybody at the table uncomfortable with the president's tweets? Is anybody concerned with the president's, the president's tweets? We're talking to Turkey. We're speaking to Turkey. What are you saying to that, sir? We've had a very good relationship, and frankly, it's a very complex situation. The Obama administration would not sell them the Patriot missiles. They need the Patriot missiles for defense. They would not sell them under any circumstance. And Turkey tried very hard to buy them, and they wouldn't sell them. And this went on for a long period of time. And it was as soon as they found out that they were going to have to buy the missiles, a comparable mission, not as good a missile, but a comparable, almost, missile from Russia, all of a sudden, everybody started rushing and saying to Turkey, OK, we'll sell you the Patriot missile. It was only when they found out they couldn't get it. Then they say, let's go. We'll sell you the Patriot missile. But by that time, Turkey had already signed and paid a lot of money to Russia for the missile system that they were not allowed to buy here, foolishly, because Turkey is a NATO member. Turkey has also ordered over 100 F-35 planes, substantially over 100. And they have plans to order more. But because they have a system of missiles that's made in Russia, they're now prohibited from buying over 100 planes. I would say that Lockheed isn't exactly happy. It's a lot of jobs. And frankly, I've always had a very good relationship. We have Pastor Brunson came back at my request, what I called up. Pastor Brunson was going to be in jail for 25 years. And I called President Erdogan. I said, listen, he's an innocent man. He's a pastor. He's a religious man. He's not a spy. He's not the things they said. And we had a couple of conversations, and I was able to get him back, along with many other people I was able to get back. The press doesn't want to write about it. Our ambassador for hostage negotiations said, Trump is the greatest of all time. I only tell you that because you'll never say it. But I guess we have 21 back. I got 21 back. I don't pay either, unlike the $1.8 that was paid by the Obama administration to get hostages back. I don't pay. What about once you pay, it doesn't work out. So what happens is we have a situation where Turkey is very good with us, very good. And we are now telling Turkey that because you have really been forced to buy another missile system, we're not going to sell you the F-35 fighter jets. Uh, it's a very tough situation that they're in, and it's a very tough situation that we've been placed in, the United States. With all of that being said, we're working through it. We'll see what happens. But it's not really fair. They wanted to buy. I don't stick up for countries. I don't stick up for Turkey. I don't stick up other than I've had a good relationship with President Erdogan. He wanted to buy our Patriot missile. We wouldn't sell it. And then when he made a deal, and he really wanted to buy it. And then when he made a deal with another country, Russia, to buy their system that he didn't even want, then all of a sudden we say, oh, OK, we'll, we'll now sell you the Patriot. And because of the fact he bought a Russian missile, we're not allowed to sell him billions of dollars worth of aircraft. It's not a fair situation. And we'll see what happens. We were sending uh, hundreds of millions of dollars to, are you talking about Guatemala and Honduras? Uh, we were sending hundreds of millions of dollars to Guatemala and Honduras. Uh, we're not going to send it anymore. We haven't been sending it for the last year uh, because they weren't doing anything for us. They were forming caravans, and they were sending them up. And in those caravans, you had some very bad actors. You had some people that were not people that we want in our country. So I realized that when they, in the middle of their city or towns, when you form a caravan, if a government is at all a government, they don't have to allow that caravan to come up. So if they're not going to play ball, that's OK with me. We're not going to play ball with them. We don't give them any more money. They've been ripping us off for years. I'm not a fan. So until they shape up. Now, all of a sudden, they came down, supposedly, with a Supreme Court ruling that they're not allowed to do a safe third agreement with us. Well, I sort of 
wonder, it went, did it come down because they wanted that ruling to come down? Uh, but we were giving them hundreds of millions of dollars like fools for years. And all they did is send us up. A lot of people caused a lot of problems. And a lot of the people in those caravans were criminals, hardened criminals, dangerous people. And why not? Why would Honduras or Guatemala or El Salvador, why would they keep their criminals when you can put them into the caravan, lose them in a caravan, and send them up to the United States? We take everybody. Because the Democrats don't allow immigration laws that mean anything. It's horrible. It's horrible. How they are, how, are, how they are taking care of just that one situation, which could be taken care of very easily. How they won't even give us a vote on that. Mr. Trump, are you being willing to not use the phrase, go back to your country, to citizens and women of color who are either citizens or have been born in this country? Would you be willing to not use that I think it's terrible phrase? when people speak so badly about our country, when people speak so horribly. I have a list of things here. I'm not going to bore you with it because you would be bored. You wouldn't write it anyway. But I have a list of things here say, said by uh, the Congresswomen that is so bad, so horrible, that I almost don't want to read it. It's so bad. Uh, I think what you do is you have the same list that I do. You should repeat some of that. Uh, when the Democrats didn't want to mention the name of the Congresswoman, not so long ago, and what they did and the way they're treating Israel is a disgrace. But not only Israel, it's what they say about our country. It's my opinion they hate our country. And that's not good. It's not acceptable. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Mr. President, isn't it, Mr. President, isn't it a core value to be able to criticize this country? Isn't that a core American value? Thank you, guys. Right this way. Thank you for us. Thank you for us. Right this way, guys. Thank you.